Hey friends, my name is Aniket Singh and you are seeing this side channel. So let's get started. Today I am going to show you how to use Live Boolean tool in ZBrush. For that, first I have to tell you what is Live Boolean tool. The meaning of Live Boolean tool is in front of you. But in simple words, Live Boolean means adding two objects, subtracting two objects or finding intermediate between them. So create a new document. To use Live Boolean tool, minimize light box. To use Live Boolean, you need some object, right? So create an object. I am using cube, the most basic object. Click on edit for converting it from 2.5D space to 3D space. See now it is in 3D form. Click on polymesh 3D for editing the object. See now I can edit it. To turn on live boolean you have to go to render. Render boolean and live boolean. Now you have enabled the live boolean tool in zbrush and to use live boolean you have to create a new sub tool or an object for that you have to go to sub tool insert insert any object that you want i am inserting cylinder right now you could not see a cylinder because it is inside the cube press w to move cylinder now i will place it like this sorry i have to select cylinder now scale it, move it, rotate or do anything and place your object as you want. I want to put like this. Now I will use live boolean tool. Let me place it as I want. Fine, that's what I want. Now when I have enabled this live boolean tool, I can use this feature just pressing this. No, I wanted to subtract that object. As you have two objects, you can do three things with that. First is which will add both of your subtools. Second will subtract your subtool or an object. That will implement on the object that you have selected. And third is find intersection between them. Which means it will find a common part between them and make that part only visible. But I have to subtract the object like this and in live boolean the object don't vanish, it stay at there. To see both of the object you have to turn on polyframe. Now you can see your both of the object and you can edit it also. If you disable live boolean tool, you can't use live boolean and you can see your both object. Now let's enable live boolean again. For that, first you have to go to render, render boolean live boolean now live boolean has been enabled now let's create something it's the same procedure sub tool insert insert any object resize it by pressing w q and r for rotate So that's all for today, hope you like the video and I have created this object in, by using live boolean tool. Now you can do experiment on it and create a new objects by using live boolean tool. Thank you.